All right, this is from 1800. It is a political cartoon. Do we have newspapers in 1800? Yes. Yes. yes, we did, of the history of this country. And do we have political cartoons in 1800? Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. We have this one right here. Who's the character on his knees? Thomas Jefferson. Yes, the, the election of 1800. Do you remember he was running against? Do we remember? John Adams, <laughs> uh, who was the sitting president of the United States. This is the first contested election where it wasn't clear. And in fact, a sitting president was uh, lost the election. Uh, so it was a very, very important election in American history in terms of the first time that someone who had power relinquished power in, a, in, a nat, in a, an election uh, and his opponent took over. So Thomas Jefferson, would you suggest this is from Jefferson's campaign or from Adams' campaign? From Adams. Adam. What Adam. makes Adam. you say that, David? Just the fact that it looks like there are guys watching over, over the eagle taking the... Constitution. Constitution. Strong. Yeah, so what are the messages about, about Jefferson here? That he's trying to burn the Constitution, that he's trying to unravel like the American ideals that they had just put together. Yes, and Carmen, what's he burning it on, or trying to burn it on? The altar to Gaelic des... I can't read that. Despotism. despotism. What, the, the altar of Gaelic despotism? In your readings? Yeah, the French... Oh, Gaelic, French, French, French Revolution, 1800. Starting to put that together now. Mm -hmm. uh, Jefferson, so he was attacked because he was pro-French Revolution. So and what's the message, John? He is trying to burn the Constitution. I think that symbolizes that he's pro-anarchy. Pro-anarchy in this case? Like they're suggesting that, not that he necessarily is. Excellent. Who's going to stop him? Uh... America. 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 What do you mean America? The eagle. The eagle, eagle. representing? Freedom. Freedom. Strength. The people. Who else is going to stop him? God. God. What makes you say that? That uh, giant eye. The big <laughs> eye looking there uh, from above. No. Yeah. It's interesting because when I first saw this image, I, I actually kind of felt as if um, it wasn't a, po a, a poster or a, an image that was... Um, Criminalizing uh, Thomas Jefferson, I I kind of I notice a kind of an internal bias in myself. I kind of see the um, eagle as as more of a negative image, and and the eye of God seems more of like a a, a, a scary, really awful image to me. So your first impression, based on your relationship to these symbols, was to see the eye and the eagle as negative. Yeah and therefore be more pro-Jefferson. Yeah. Speaks really importantly to how we all interpret media messages through our own lens and our own perspective. The eagle kind of looks like some wild beast. It doesn't look very like glorious. It, it looks kind of yeah. fat. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. To me, to me, Jefferson looks kind of righteous. Like, you might be yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I definitely see that. Like cast, yeah. It's cast down, like oppressed. Yeah. Oh. I mean, there are a few other symbols. What do you got uh, writhing around the altar of of Gaelic the despotism, snake. the snake. That typically the snakes, you know, a pretty negative yeah. uh, image there, there as well. Some skulls. Right. Some, some skulls. skulls. And if you knew some of that history, so so there's a context that would have had most Americans in 1800 understanding more quickly that message. But from your perspective, it's harder to interpret. And that's really true about political cartoons. They have a lot of information and a lot of cultural and historical context. 